Hey, this is Matt Cox, and I thought I'd do a quick video. I'm actually getting ready to go to my mom's. Uh, I don't know, I know you guys probably uh, know this, but I, I go, I have breakfast with my mom like three days a week, and then I typically will pick up dinner and bring her dinner. But before we get into all that, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment in the uh, comment section and share the video if you like it. So here's what's going on. So I'm about to leave to go to my mom's. I'm gonna go pick up Olive Garden. She loves Olive Garden. Uh, sometimes I go to Carabas. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up, uh, pick up dinner for her and her, I don't even know what Celine is. Is she like a nurse's aide? She's a, um, what is she? I, 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 it's not a nurse. I mean, she's like a, she's like a home health care worker. Anyway, I don't know. She's got a license, I'm pretty sure. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get something to drink. My girlfriend got me this cup. So I have to use the cup. It says, it's, it's, and it says, I know I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get crap for this in the comments. Um, it says stud muffin. And then it says, you know, it says 20% stud, 80% muffin which is absolutely not true, but it's, I'm actually in pretty good shape. 20% stud muffin and 80% muffin or something. So good. Is that my third cup? Fourth cup of coffee. All right. So I'm gonna pick up dinner and go by my mom's and then I have a meeting. I thought I'd do a, a, a quick video, which probably will not be that quick. Uh, Anyway, I was thinking about, I was also, what I've done today, most of the days I've been painting varnish. I've been varnishing and touching up paintings that I do. I do these modified screen prints. And it's funny because the other day, like a couple, like a week ago, maybe whatever, three, four days ago, uh, three, four days ago, my mom was asking me, you know, what I, oh, she's always, you know, oh, what are you doing today? What'd you do yesterday? She doesn't remember what I did, but, and I tell her and she, you know, I tell her the same thing over and over again, but she's, you know, she's 91 years old. I mean, you know, come on, that's, 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 that's pretty old. Uh, I, so I tell her and I was explaining to her that I'd done a painting. I'd done like that, what I call, they're called modified screen prints because a, a portion of it is actually a screen print that I actually paint, I actually paint the canvas, screen print it, paint over it again to fill it in, and then I, I do another screen print. So you get this really cool look. And I had explained to her that I had a guy in Canada that I had to ship a painting for. I'd done a couple different paintings for him and let him choose which one, and he ended up choosing, uh, he ended up choosing one that, what, here, I have the paintings. He wanted it yellow, and because I was doing, because I was doing a bunch of, a, a bunch of the, uh, the canvases, I, I was able to actually do one for the color that he wanted. Just, you know, I didn't charge him anything extra for it, but just so happened that I was in that, you know, in this, in the, uh, at the part where I could actually pick one of the color, the background color. So I painted it yellow. So this is the one I, this is what I actually did because he told me it was for his daughter. So I actually did this painting right here. However, I painted two yellow ones, so I showed him, I said, look, there's, so the one I did, which is his daughter's like, I don't know, like five years old or something. And so I did it and I put like little pigs and bears on it. And then the other one I did, which was also yellow, but I just did hearts, which is this one. You know? I didn't, I didn't really think that was the one he would want. So I said, hey, I got two yellow ones. Which one do you want? And that's the one he picked. And I mentioned to my mom that I needed to mail it to Canada. And I had to, I, I have boxes that, so I had special made boxes for him that I have to box it up, but I have to get it into FedEx and, and which I still haven't done. And she's like, Canada. And I was like, yes, ma'am. She's like, who, oh, I don't understand. Why is he in Canada? I was like, I, he lives in Canada, mom. He saw my, he saw me making these and he was interested and he asked me to make one for him in, in yellow. And she was like, okay. And she said, you sold it? And I went, yeah, yes, ma'am. Did he send you the money? I said, yes, mom, he sent me. She's always very concerned that people are not gonna send me money. You know, keep in mind, she was raised, 
during the Great Depression. So it, it, it's, money's a big deal. And so she's like, he sent you the money. I said, mom, he sent me the money. How, how did he send you the money? Did you, did the check went in the bank? Like it clear, mom, it, he, he, he PayPal'd me. And then I have to explain what PayPal is. And then that's a, a huge ordeal. Like I don't even tell her that I do YouTube. I tell her I have a TV program. Like I don't tell her, oh, I get, you know, where, where are you going? And I, I don't tell her, you know, if I tell her, hey, I'm, I'm going to, to Texas. I don't tell her, you know, oh, I'm going to be interviewed for a podcast because I've tried to explain what a podcast is to her maybe four or five times and she doesn't understand, but she understands TV. So what I tell her is there's a TV show. What kind of TV show? And I go like Johnny Carson, cause she knows Johnny, she remembers Johnny Carson. I'm like, remember Johnny Carson and Jay Leno and, and the, right, right, like a variety show. They just interview different people. Okay, I said, they wanna interview me. Well, why? I'm like, well, mom, because I was, you know, because I'm kind of like an infamous con man. And she's always, you know, that, <laughs> that always bothers her. So, oh, oh, well, okay. And they wanna talk to you? I mean, yes, mom, they wanna talk to me. People are gonna see it? Yes, ma'am, they're gonna see it. They're gonna see it. People, lots of people are gonna see it. Oh dear. So I, I you know, she just has to deal with it. Uh, and then she's always asking me about money. Well, do they pay you? I'm like, well, sometimes they pay me. It depends on how, how big of a program it is. Like, I don't wanna explain to her that if the guy has 2,000 subscribers, like, I can't do your show for nothing if you've got 2,000 subscribers. Like, there's no benefit to me. Like, I'm not gonna fly out of the country. I'm not gonna fly, sorry, out of the country, out of the st state or drive to Miami for nothing when you have like 2,000 subscribers. Like, there's no benefit. I'm not gonna sell even one book from that. But if you had 2 million subscribers, well, I'll, I'll fly to California to do your show. I mean, you know, you don't have to pay me anything because obviously there's gonna be a benefit and I'm gonna sell more books. and. It's impossible to explain to her what subscribers are. You know, at 91 in a wheelchair, she's, she has, I don't wanna say diminished mental capacity, but in a way she does. It's hard for her to follow. Plus she can't hear in one ear. The other ear has maybe 20% uh, left in it. So it's, you know, she's got a hearing aid. She doesn't hear everything. You have to speak very clearly. You really have to simplify what you're saying. So I have to simplify anything I say to her. And it's extremely frustrating, but you know, it, it is, she's comical because, <laughs> you know, she's always concerned about money. She's always, do you need money? I'm like, no, mom, I don't need money. I, you know, well, are you sure you don't have any money? And I'm like, I, mom, why do you say that? I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but I, I pay my bills. Well, how, you don't have a job. I'm like, well, mom, I, I do have a job. I paint, I paint paintings. And she'll go, people pay you? I'm like, y yes, ma'am, they, 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 yes, ma'am. People buy paintings from me. Really? And I'm like, yeah, mom. And we've had this conversation over and over again. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Well, what are your paintings? And I'll show her my paintings on my cell phone. I'll pull it out and I'll show it to her. Sometimes, the nurse will put it on uh, like an iPad or you can put it on the TV and she'll look at it and she'll go, and they buy these? And I'm like, I'm like yes, ma'am, they buy them. I sell a lot of paintings. Okay. And, um, oh gosh, I made the mistake of trying to explain like this one series of paintings I, I did and they're, they're all, that they're, they're screen prints, but they're modified so that every single one of them is different. That was, that was a five minute frustrating conversation and I still don't think she understood. And like, like that's what I'm doing right now is I've got, today I've been painting all, I've been painting these. This, this one's pretty cool, like she's got, she's got like purple hair. It's kind of cool. And the little skulls and crossbones. This one, got all these and I'm doing a whole new series of paintings, which are Marilyn Monroe's. And they also have, like they have skulls and crossbones and heart. All of them are different. They're all different, but Marilyn, 
Marilyn Monroe. And believe it or not, people actually buy these. I sell them. I sell them for, I, I sell them for two seventy five, and I pay to have them. I'll pay for the shipping, and I'll ship them anywhere in the continental United States. And I, I sell them. You know, and I sell lots of them. I, I'm I'm doing okay at it. I, I also sell books. I try and explain to her I sell books too, Mom. And I'm you know so like like Boziak's book. I have Boziak's book right here. John Boziak, credit card counterfeiter. Grew up homeless on the streets of Miami. Just got a sizzle reel done on him. Pitching a uh, pitching a, a, a like a hybrid documentary series on him. Um, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be awesome. He's gonna be famous. My guy's gonna be famous. Tried to explain that to her. I showed her the um, sizzle reel that was done. She did, had no. She just she just did not understand. And we watched it twice. She she really could barely even pay attention. It, it's it's you know. So funny. And then I had to explain to her where I met him and that I wrote a book on him and it's a really great book and it's a great story. And she just, you know, wanders and, and, and you sell the books? Yes, ma'am. Well, well, you don't, you must not, you don't sell a lot of books. And I go, mom, mom, why do you say that? I mean, I'm not a bestseller or anything, but I, I sell a lot of books. I sell, we sell books. I mean, I, I'm, why do you say that? And she goes, well, you don't have any money. And it's like, I, I just got out of prison. I don't have any money because I just got out of prison because I, I had to essentially start my entire life over again. And she's like, you got out of prison. It was a long time ago. And I'm like, it wasn't a long time ago. It wasn't even two years ago. Well, it seems longer. So, you know, I've tried to explain mom. I got out of prison with nothing. I had to live in someone's spare room to save enough money. I got to go to the halfway house, then move into somebody's spare room, save money, um, you know, to get a vehicle. It was a whole thing. And I have explained it to her 10 or 15 times. And, you know, the problem is I think that she remembers me prior to going into prison when I had plenty of money. And... It's just, you know, it's obviously it's just not like that anymore. And she just doesn't, you know, doesn't really understand. Um, what else? Anyway, I'm going to pick her up uh, dinner and I'm going to bring her dinner. And this is just a video to let everybody know what's going on and what's up and what I'm doing. And for some reason, people love when I talk about my mom. Uh, I think they, they all say it's hilarious when I do her voice. Uh, whew, my gosh, so... So frustrating. I don't know how my sister has done it all these years. She just, my mom makes these little tiny digs constantly. And it's like, for me, for me, the digs are, you know, like I, I, I jog, you know, and then after I had COVID, I kind of stopped for a while. Then I started up again and then I, then th things got busy and I stopped. And so now she, every morning when I see her, she's got, she says, did, and she doesn't ever says jog. She always says walk. Did you walk today? Yes, ma'am. I, I, I did. I, I jogged today, you know, or I did the elliptical. I, I did the elliptical. I can't even say the elliptical. She doesn't even understand. I even videoed myself on the elliptical one time, brought it and showed her what the elliptical was. But, you know, she doesn't remember like, like that whole thing. She doesn't remember that. So now if she says, did you walk today? It's like, you know, yes, ma'am. I did walk today. Or I say, no, I didn't. And she's like, it's, it's you know, you're getting older. You're getting older. You're losing your hair. Like, How does that have anything to do with me walking on the, the elliptical or, or walking? And she's like, you know, I'm just saying I'm not losing my hair. Okay. I had hair grafts and they'll grow forever. My hair will never go bad. She doesn't understand. Then I have to explain that the hair grafts, they, they took the hair from the back of my head and they implanted it in the front. She doesn't understand that. It's a, you know, it's a whole, hey, so it was a surgery? Did, who'd you, did you pay for it? You know, it's, uh, I, I don't know how her nurse does it. I don't know how my sister's done it all these years. She has these little tiny digs where she, had, she'll tell you that, you know, are you, are you trying to gain weight? You know, it's like, no, you know, what woman is trying to gain weight? Unless you got cancer, or some something. I mean, I don't know anybody who's trying to gain weight. 
So she's constantly, it's she's little tiny, you know, my sister will go in and say, you know, she, my mom, will say, <laughs> my mom will say, uh, did you get a new haircut? My, my mom, my, my sister will go, I did get a new haircut. Thank you, mom. Do you like it? And she'll go, no, no, I don't. I am just, <laughs> what are you doing? My ex-wife goes to see her like probably three or four times a week also. Horrible to my ex-wife. I'm not horrible, but she's just, you know, my ex-wife, we laugh about it. She's like, she just says these little tiny things, little tiny things that just, you're like, oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I don't have to, I don't have to take that. Like, I mean, it's little tiny things. Sometimes she'll get tired of my ex-wife will come and just, or Helen, they'll start talking and talking. And in the middle of their sentence, my ex-wife said, my mom will say, Okay, you need to go now. You need to go. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. You need to go. And that's it. They're leaving. She's, All right. Yes, ma'am. I'm I'm leaving now. He's okay. Bye bye. That's my mom. Good talk. Bye bye. Yeah. So I'm going to pick up uh, going to pick up Olive Garden and drop it off. Eat with her. Go to a meeting, six o'clock at night. I'm gonna go to a meeting because I'm I'm working. I work all the time. Work all the time. All right. Uh, I think that's it. That's a that's a quick video about my mom, you know, and my struggle. Uh, okay. All right. I appreciate it. And if you like the video, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Do whatever you gotta do. Buy a book. I got a book. I got a book called Shark in the Housing Pool. Buy Shark in the Housing Pool. It's also on Audible. Bent. I've got, I got a bunch of books and I have a bunch of paintings. I have a bunch of paintings. Just finished a bunch. I'll just grab this one. Just finished a Just finished a bunch of paintings. Send me an email. I'm going to leave my email in the description. Buy a painting. I'll ship it to you. They're cool. I do a whole thing. Look. I put a backing, I put the back on it, I've got, got the thing. I even put this little barcode so that you can you can do the barcode here. You can actually barcode, you can actually use your phone and go, you know, do the thing. And it'll bring you to a time-lapse video of me making the paintings. There's actually time-lapse, listen, I got this whole thing hooked up. I know what I'm doing now, I got it. All right, that's it, I appreciate it. Appreciate you watching and see ya.